intentionally done by Mary Atieno, reminding us to come to Jesus and we will be satisfied. That satisfaction we are seeking, that meaning and purpose that we are seeking, we will find that in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. It is now 22 minutes to 8 o'clock. You're listening to Breath of Heaven. It is a Family Tuesday edition and we usually have this segment known as Live Questions, where we give you an opportunity to ask those questions regarding our faith in God and also our relationship with one another. Tonight, I have the honor and privilege of hosting Reverend Dr. Emily Obwaka here on uh, Family Tuesday and I believe that uh, we're going to have a blessed time. Remember, you can send your question to 20933 on WhatsApp 0717-400555 across our social media platforms at Hope FM Live and uh, yes, we'll be checking on those questions. And so, welcome to the studio, Rev. Emily. Thank you very much, Patroba. Uh, it's Jackton. Jackton, sorry. Yeah. Oops. Have you been? <laughs> Patroba has just left the building you know, a while ago. The two of you, <laughs> yes. your names are very closely related in yeah, my mind. I understand. I understand. You're not yes. the first one. Yes. You're not the first one. But uh, it's mm. great to have you here with us. Thank this, you. Uh, blessed evening. How, how have you been? I've been well. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, a bit of downtime, uh, grieving a relative, close relative who went to be with the Lord, um, but really experiencing God's grace and comfort very, very, very uh, particularly at this time and reminded of the fact that this world is not our home. You know, we are pastors, passers by mm. and how much we need to live in the reality of that truth uh, daily. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. We are pig pilgrims, as somebody would call it. Yes. And uh, we have a home, an eternal home, where the Lord Jesus Christ said is going to prepare a place for us. And so we are looking forward to that as well. Yes. And so in this season, we, we, we began the year 2024. I know we yeah, are almost done with the first quarter. Probably there's something God has been ministering to you on and uh, you'd like to share with us before we get to the questions now. Well, the Lord has constantly been encouraging me to focus. Actually, this, this which I've just shared, this world is not our home, is, is really what I came into the year um, realizing that, you know, in John 16 and the passage there where he told, tells us not to, not to be troubled, not to let our hearts be troubled, um, trust in him and uh, trust in, in God. And the focus he begins with is there is a heavenly home that God has and is preparing for us. And so our, our focus, yes, needs to be here, but also needs to be there. We need to live uh, in, in a multi-vision kind of way where we are looking forward and living life here in light of where we are going but also realizing that there are those we are setting pace for so that there's a need to very, be very careful about the choices we make, the words we speak, um, the, the works we do. Uh, one of the things that really has grabbed me this, this season is realizing that Jesus constantly said, I'm doing the Father's work. I'm s speaking the Father's words. And with him having gone and given us the Holy Spirit, now we get to do the same thing. Our words need to be Jesus' words. Um, our works need to be those that are inspired and undergirded by him. So that um, we, we don't have to wonder what is the will of God out there and, and, and struggle. We need to be cued to the work I'm doing, the words I'm speaking constantly. Mm -hmm. Are they Jesus' words? Are they uh, Jesus' works? Uh, and, and settling it at that. Um, so, so very much in line with what we've experienced, but also remembering that God wants us to represent him well. We are here for a finite time. May we do it well. May we do it well. Yeah, it's a constant reminder there. I was sharing somewhere regarding the time we were born and the time we leave this earth. There is usually that dash. Yes. On the epitaph, some somebody is gone to be with the Lord, and so that dash really, mm -hmm. really matters a lot. Mm -hmm. What what do we do between the time we were born and the time we left this earth? And so, as you're sharing that, it gives us that uh, reality mm -hmm. of our time here, mm -hmm. uh, and then, uh, of course, 
with our time eternity with the lord so uh, making sure that the time we have here we use we we, we seize the moment we seize the moment mm -hmm. but you see on the other hand you know we can strive in our own in our own wisdom, mm -hmm. in our own way we see things, and how we are reminded that it's about a script that has been written for each one of us that we need to track with mm -hmm. by being intimate with God. Mm -hmm. As we walk intimately with the Holy Spirit, He whispers, He guides, He shows us the light, and we are able to walk effortlessly you know, if I may say so. Mm -hmm. um, yes, you know, the, the, the righteous must take it by force and, and there, <laughs> there is spiritual warfare and all that. Yeah. But believe, believe it that every day becomes an easy pace of walking as we walk in step with the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And that's the joy for us believers. Mm -hmm. We don't have to imagine for ourselves. Mm -hmm. We don't have to strive. We don't have to struggle in, in a sense we can rest in him and do life from that place of overcoming that place of allowing him to work in us to will and do his good purpose mm -hmm. yes. so the secret there is to do life with god amen even as we live on this earth looking forward to dwell with him forever absolutely amen, amen. thank amen. you thank you for that and amen. so we are looking at the questions here keep sending them just to remind you, you can send your question to two zero nine three three on sms line on whatsapp zero seven one seven four hundred triple five we're live on facebook on youtube as well as on x you can catch us there wherever you are and so um, let's start with the question here coming through from uh, a listener who is seeking to find out more about um, the Holy Spirit? And I believe this uh, question will help uh, this beloved one get a proper understanding and, uh, and clarity regarding what they would desire to know. Mm -hmm. And saying, uh, listening from Eldoret, how can one know if he has the Holy Spirit or the Holy Spirit is no longer in him or her? That's a good question. Mm -hmm. And um, just as we come into faith in Jesus Christ by faith, we also receive the Holy Spirit by faith. Mm -hmm. um, the Bible tells us that when we are born again, when we become spiritually alive, when we talk about um, uh, the one who believes in him sh shall have eternal life, that eternal life is the life of God in us by his Spirit. So the Holy Spirit comes to quicken our spirits and we we host the holy spirit in us and the moment uh listener you have made the prayer from a sincere heart mm -hmm. confessing your sin and inviting jesus christ as the savior and lord of your life you immediately receive the holy spirit now that's one 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 level we do know there is the second level where as we walk with god surrendering our lives to him we are seeking the baptism of the holy spirit where the reign of the holy spirit then comes and governs over the the, the child of god um you know the bible is replete in the new testament of uh, times when uh, the, the disciples visited ones who had had the, the, the baptism in water, um, had received Christ, but not been baptized with the Holy Spirit. And upon the laying on of hands, and it is not limited to that, as we ask God to fill us with the Holy Spirit, the Bible says, if we as earthly fathers know how to give good gifts to our children, how much more will the Father give us the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. when we ask? And so by faith, we receive this third person of the Holy Spirit, who is the Spirit of, of God, and he dwells in us. And he doesn't sort of come in and out. Uh, no, uh, he, he resides in there. And um, something we need to clarify to the listeners is that the Holy Spirit um, is the one who works in us to then help us obey to transform us from the inside out to become like Jesus. And as we submit and surrender to his reign, then we become more and more like Jesus. The Holy Spirit enables us to hear God um, because he is God. So he will speak to us. He is the comforter. He is the counselor. He is the, he is the one who sheds light, uh, reveals the truth of Jesus, reminds us the things that Jesus teaches in his word and, and who he is. Um, how can we, I think the last part of that question was, can you uh, leave, can the Holy Spirit leave you? Um, 
you know, abs- absolutely. There, there are times when a child of God um, will, uh, will walk in disobedience and constantly um, uh, reject the grace that God gives that enables us to walk in fellowship with God. Uh, I do believe in judgment. There can be a time when then um, this this will this the Holy Spirit will depart in times when there is continuous uh, blatant um, sin um, that makes it impossible then um, for us to, uh, to to continue hosting Him. Let me say this: the Bible says in Romans eight that nothing can can by any means separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus which is the Spirit's evidence in us. Uh, we are the only ones who can, by our own choice of walking away from God, um, then uh, remove ourselves from his presence. But he is, he is there. And nothing, you know, not death, not height, not angels, not demons, nothing can ever separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus. So, um the, the the thing is to continue to walk in obedience and continue to invite the Holy Spirit to reign over our lives. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Let's look at another question here. This is from uh, uh, a listener here. Your name is Chalo and you're from Thick. And you say, how long should one take to start dating after I broke up with my ex-girlfriend who uh, thinks uh, or whom things didn't go well uh, with? After around four years of dating, I feel stuck in between giving myself some time and starting a family because of my years, probably of my age. I will be turning 31 this year. Right. That's the <laughs> scenario of one child mm. there. Yes. Brother, okay. Yes. Mm. Um, 31 is still very young, young man. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon 31 is still young. Mm-hmm. Uh, there is no book, uh, book work about this. Um, there is no cut, cut, cut and paste. Um, everybody has their own journey in terms of when they will get married. And uh, for you who has been dating, you dated for four years, no doubt hoping that this would be your life partner. It didn't work out. And you are wondering how long to take yeah. before. Um, y- you know, let, 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 let life unfold as God unfolds it in your life. Uh, so in other words, don't be looking at now it's been six months. I better start looking out. I believe as we walk, allowing God to heal us because it's not easy to break up a, a long relationship like that. As you essentially also forgive and allow be forgiven, you know, so release, release yourself, release this one you are in relationship with, allow your heart to heal, begin to, you know, to ruminate and uh, enjoy life, you know, because life is not only about this partnership, you need to embrace it as a whole. And I believe as you do life each day, God will bring the right person. Um, don't be afraid to pray. These are the things we pray for. Lord, heal my heart. Lord, bring that one that you chose for me to be with. And God will bring this one at the, at the right time. I believe he will. Yes. Hello. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. <laughs> yes. <laughs> be very encouraged. All right. La- uh, let's look at this one here saying, uh, praise God. I am grateful for the answer I was given last week. Thanks a lot. Now, I have these other questions. I am the firstborn in my family and uh, the lady I want to marry is also the firstborn in their family. Mm -hmm. We are all born from our mother's home. Mm, Using the word ujombani. I don't know, probably related in some way, ujombani. All right. Mm. Uh, now our parents are not in a uh, good relationship with our raising dad, with our raising dad. Like mama, yamschana, I may divorce. Then on our side, dad, ako na mipango ya kando, na pia ameleta bibi mwingine. Kind of confusing there, but let's look at it let's again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How can we separate ourselves from these family things or you'd call family ties Mm -hmm. i feel zineza zikaturudia uh Mm -hmm. it's devastating kindly help should i take it once again 
Uh, yes, Can although you, I yeah. have understood oh, there I that they, they have difficult backgrounds. Mm -hmm. Both of them yes. have difficult backgrounds. Mm -hmm. They are firstborns in, in this. They are both firstborns. Yeah. And they are wondering, will these things that they have come out of, mm -hmm. you know, from the family of procreation, mm -hmm. will they affect them as they come together? Yeah. Um, child of God, and I want to believe that that's where you are. Mm -hmm. Even being firstborn, mm -hmm. I think the most essential thing is that you have uh, a testimony of being born again in Christ. When you're born again, you are a new creation. The old has gone, the new has come. We are new creations, and that is the place we begin with. We never choose where we are born. And, uh, you know, I think one of the things you and your perspective needs to settle is is not to be bitter about them, not to be angry or or feel, you know, you're disadvantaged. Uh, look at it as an opportunity that because you're coming together to set a new path, a new generation, mm -hmm. as you come together, this will be an opportunity to, to be the light to both families because God is always looking for an opportunity through us to extend his kingdom in the families that we are born. And for you, uh, you have talked about darkness on both sides. Um, and that is not necessarily, um, you know, it, it's not, it's not going to affect you. It's not going to infect you. It's not going to d derail you if you stick to the script of Christ in you. So, for instance, the Bible has uh, the way he wants us. The Bible talks about the way we should do marriage. Um, if you stick to those principles and daily guard that covenant relationship with your partner, uh, walking in step with, with, the, with the Spirit of God, I can assure you, you will be able to um, surmount many of the challenges from the past. You know, many, many... Uh, African, Caucasian, actually everyone uh, has something in the past that, oh no, I wouldn't want to be associated with that. But even look at Jesus Christ himself. Look at the lineage of Jesus Christ. He has many who were, you know, were not, he would not, one would not handpick to be in the line of this uh, immaculate savior. Um, but, but you see, he set pace for us so that coming into whatever we are coming into through him, and this time it's marriage, we set a new line. And we are the ones who then can set the bar for how uh, our families from the past will see marriage. Mm -hmm. We can reorient. We can impact your salt, your light. You can uh, change the situation even with uh, the families uh, you come from. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The, 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 there may be the issue of how do I make sure that, you know, I'm honoring them? You know, how do I keep my distance? You know, because there may be the, the sense in which if I keep them too close, you know, what has come from the past may rub into my, my situation. God will give you wisdom. God will give you wisdom to how you relate with them. God will give you wisdom because you're not doing it alone. You are in a family of, of God. Uh, your pastors and uh, others who walk closely with you will guide you, even in terms of how you relate with them, making sure that you're not embracing culture, you're not embracing things that could take you down a path that is negative mm -hmm. or you're not opening doors to to things that could oppress you mm -hmm. in your own marriage mm -hmm. right. yeah thank you thank you for enlightening us on that area and so we'll continue with more of your live questions in the next hour that's between eight and nine and we give you an opportunity to send your question in case you would like to send yours send it to our SMS line 20933, that is 20933, or WhatsApp on 0717 Reverend Dr. Emilio Buanca will be answering your questions in the next hour, right about Did now. Did you know the Friends of Hope is an initiative of Hope Media? Through this initiative, we are able to partner with others who are keen to ensure that we keep hope alive. Through your support, we are sharing the hope we have with many others who are yet to embrace hope. You too can become a part of this initiative today. 
Send your contribution of any amount to M-Pesa pay bill number 933933. Account name Friends of Hope. For more information regarding Friends of Hope, please email friendsofhope at hopefm.org or SMS FOH to 20933. Join Friends of Hope today. Friends of Hope, keeping hope alive. Another quality service from Christ is the answer. Did you know the Friends of Hope is an initiative of Hope Media? Through this initiative, we are able to partner with others who are keen to ensure that we keep hope alive. Through your support, we are sharing the hope we have with many others who are yet to embrace hope. You too can become a part of this initiative today. Send your contribution of any amount to M-Pesa pay bill number 933933. Account name Friends of Hope. For more information regarding Friends of Hope, please email friendsofhope at hopefm.org or SMS FOH to 20933. Join Friends of Hope today. Friends of Hope, keeping hope alive. Another quality service from Christ is the answer. Did you know the Friends of Hope is an initiative of Hope Media? Through this initiative, we are able to partner with others who are keen to ensure that we keep hope alive. Through your support, we are sharing the hope we have with many others who are yet to embrace hope. You too can become a part of this initiative today. Send your contribution of any amount to M-Pesa pay bill number 933933. Account name Friends of Hope. For more information regarding Friends of Hope, please email friendsofhope at hopefm.org or SMS FOH to 20933. Join Friends of Hope today. Friends of Hope, keeping hope alive. Another quality service from Christ is the answer. Did you know the Friends of Hope is an initiative of Hope Media? Through this initiative, we are able to partner with others who are keen to ensure that we keep hope alive. Through your support... I've actually been trying to find a balance. Um, It's been really tough and hectic, but everyone says once you get a hang of it, it becomes better. And I don't know, but I'm hoping to find a balance soon because it's really been hectic. But you've been in the job industry for a long time, so I think you would know better. Sindio? Huh? What time is it? Ah! I need to catch up on leadership forum. Did they have a radio here? Um... Ah, never mind. I broke my own. <gasps> no way. You can't be serious. Wait, why do you have a radio and you can just catch up with the shows on Hope FM podcast? Really? Even miss of the what? Yeah. I mean, you can find them on whatever platform, name it, Apripod, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, um, Spotify, you name it. But I'm not subscribed on any of them. Oh, no worries. You can just check out the latest episodes on hopemediakenya.org. You can now listen to select Hope FM programs on your favorite podcast streaming platform or directly on our website, www.hopemediakenya.org. Listen. And live. You, the listener, are the reason why we go on air. You, the friend of hope, are the reason why hope is alive. You have helped us take hope across the country and to the rest of the world. Through your giving, we have been on air for 18 years and witnessed many people coming to the Lord. Through your giving, we have expanded our reach to three new regions, namely Kisi, Nyeri, and Meru. Through your giving, we have expanded our reach to an international audience through DSTV and GoTV platforms. Thank you for your sacrifice and generosity toward this great initiative. As we continue spreading hope to the other enriched regions in Kenya, you are invited to be part of the Friends of Hope through a contribution of any amount via M-Pesa Pay Bill 933-933, account name FOH. Friends of Hope, keeping hope alive. God bless you. You, the listener, are the reason why we go on air. You, the friend of hope, are the reason why hope is alive. You have helped us take hope across the country and to the rest of the world. Through your giving, we have been on air for 18 years and witnessed many people coming to the Lord. Through your giving, we have expanded our reach to three new regions, namely Kisi, Nyeri, and Meru. 
through your giving, we have expanded our reach to an international audience through DSTV and GoTV platforms. Thank you for your sacrifice and generosity toward this great initiative. As we continue spreading hope to the other enriched regions in Kenya, you are invited to be part of the Friends of Hope through a contribution of any amount via M-Pesa Pay Bill 933-933, account name FOH. Friends of Hope, keeping hope alive. God bless you. You, the listener, are the reason why we go on air. You, the friend of hope, are the reason why hope is alive. You have helped us. Welcome to the world of Hope Media, a media unit of Christ is the Answer Ministries that is committed to spreading the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ through the transformative power of media. Hope Media is dedicated to utilizing various forms of media to spread the message of hope, love, and redemption to all people around the world. Hope Media consists of various units that work together to achieve this goal. These units include Hope FM. Hope FM is your number one Christian radio station offering you discussions on current day-to-day -day issues, inspiring music, life-changing sermons, and news updates, broadcasting 80% in English and 20% in Swahili, with listenership of over 12 million every month. Hope TV Hope TV programming is designed to inspire, educate, and challenge the viewer with wholesome content to reach various demographic groups, children, youth, and adults, both male and female, with viewership of over 24 million every month. Hope Recording Studios Hope Recording Studios is a state-of-the-art recording facility that offers high-quality recording, mixing, and mastering services. It is designed to meet the needs of musicians, artists, and other creative professionals who require top-notch recording facilities. Hope Creative At Hope Creatives, we believe that inspiring graphic design work doesn't just happen. It takes the right people with wild out-of-the-box ideas committed to the same ideals working together to make it happen. We listen, we learn, we brand. Hope Digital Hope Digital is a creative digital unit within Hope Media. We are driven by a passion to creatively express ourselves while influencing you with the same creative energy in online spaces and beyond. At Hope Media, we believe that media can be a powerful tool for spreading the message of hope as well as grow your business through advertisements. And we do this with excellence. For more information regarding our services, please visit www.hopemediakenya.org or call us on 0709-861-180. Hope Media, we keep hope alive. Welcome to the world of Hope Media, a media unit of Christ is the Answer Ministries that is committed to spreading the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ through the transformative power of media. Hope Media is dedicated to utilizing various forms of media to spread the message of hope, love, and redemption to all people around the world. Hope Media consists of various units that work together to achieve this goal. These units include Hope FM. Hope FM is your number one Christian radio station offering you discussions on current day-to-day -day issues, inspiring music, life-changing sermons, and news updates, broadcasting 80% in English and 20% in Swahili, with listenership of over 12 million every month. Hope TV Hope TV programming is designed to inspire, educate, and challenge the viewer with wholesome content to reach various demographic groups, children, youth and adults, both male and female, with viewership of over 24 million every month. Hope Recording Studios Hope Recording Studios is a state-of-the-art recording facility that offers high-quality recording, mixing and mastering services. It is designed to meet the needs of musicians, artists and other creative professionals who require top-notch recording facilities. Hope Creative at Hope Creatives, we believe that inspiring graphic design work doesn't just happen. It takes the right people 
with wild out of the box ideas committed to the same ideals working together to make it happen we listen we learn we brand hope digital hope digital is a creative digital unit within hope media we are driven by a passion to creatively express ourselves while influencing you with the same creative energy in online spaces and beyond at hope media we believe that media can be a powerful tool for spreading the message of hope as well as grow your business through advertisements and we do this with excellence for more information regarding our services please visit www.hopemediakenya.org or call us on 0709-861-180 hope media we keep hope alive Welcome to the world of Hope Media, a media unit of Christ is the Answer Ministries that is committed to spreading the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ through the transformative power of media. Hope Media is dedicated to utilizing various forms of media to spread the message of hope, love and redemption to all people around the world. Hope Media consists of various units that work together to achieve this goal. These units include Hope FM, Hope FM is your number one Christian radio station offering you discussions on current day-to-day -day issues, inspiring music, life-changing sermons and news updates, broadcasting 80% in English and 20% in Swahili with listenership of over 12 million every month. Hope TV Hope TV programming is designed to inspire, educate and challenge the viewer with wholesome content to reach various demographic groups, children, youth and adults both male and female with viewership of over 24 million every month hope recording studios hope recording studios is a state-of-the-art recording facility that offers high quality recording mixing and mastering services it is designed to meet the needs of musicians artists and other creative professionals who require top-notch recording facilities hope creative at Hope Creatives, we believe that inspiring graphic design work doesn't just happen. It takes the right people with wild out-of-the-box ideas committed to the same ideals working together to make it happen. We listen, we learn, we brand. Hope Digital Hope Digital is a creative digital unit within Hope Media. We are driven by a passion to creatively express ourselves while influencing you with the same creative energy in online spaces and beyond. At Hope Media, we believe that media can be a powerful tool for spreading the message of hope as well as grow your business through advertisements. And we do this with excellence. For more information regarding our services, please visit www.hopemediakenya.org or call us on 0709-861-180. Hope Media, we keep hope alive. Welcome to the world of Hope Media, a media unit of Christ is the Answer Ministries that is committed to spreading the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ through the transformative power of media. Hope Media is dedicated to utilizing various forms of media to spread the message of hope, love and redemption to all people around the world. Hope Media consists of various units that work together to achieve this goal. These units include Hope FM. Hope FM is your number one Christian radio station offering you discussions on current day-to-day -day issues, inspiring music, life-changing sermons and news updates, broadcasting 80% in English and 20% in Swahili with listenership of over 12 million every month. Hope TV Hope TV programming is designed to inspire, educate and challenge the viewer with wholesome content to reach various demographic groups, children, youth and adults both male and female with viewership of over 24 million every month hope recording studios 
Hope Recording Studios is a state-of-the-art recording facility that offers high-quality recording, mixing and mastering services. It is designed to meet the needs of musicians, artists and other creative professionals who require top-notch recording facilities. Hope Creative At Hope Creatives, we believe that inspiring graphic design work doesn't just happen. It takes the right people with wild out-of-the-box ideas committed to the same ideals working together to make it happen. We listen, we learn, we brand. Hope Digital Hope Digital is a creative digital unit within Hope Media. We are driven by a passion to creatively express ourselves while influencing you with the same creative energy in online spaces and beyond. At Hope Media, we believe that media can be a powerful tool for spreading the message of hope as well as grow your business through advertisements and we do this with excellence. For more information regarding our services, please visit www.hopemediakenya.org or call us on 0709-861-180. Hope Media, we keep hope alive. Christ is mine forever. And uh, indeed, um, being in our uh, Artist of the Week segment, we will play more of their songs this week. And so that's the second song you're hearing this week. The song reminding us that um, Christ is mine forever. And of course, a little bit about uh, their music and uh, what they are up to. One of their most well-known songs is Yet Not I, But Through Christ in Me, which has gained significant popularity in Christian worship circles. The song's introspective lyrics and catchy melody have resonated with many listeners. And of course, as I told you earlier on, it's that this group was formed way back in 2014 and consists of a couple of members there and and the music is characterized by rich harmonies, heartfelt lyrics, and a modern sound that blends element of uh, pop, folk, and rock, just sharing the message of uh, Christ to the masses. And so this is uh, Breath of Heaven. Welcome to the second hour of the program. We are live on Facebook on YouTube and on X having our conversation revolving around live questions. In case you're joining us right now, you're most welcome to send your question. You can do so by sending it to 20933 on SMS line on WhatsApp 0717-400-555 and uh, Reverend Dr. Emilio Buaka will be looking at those questions, giving you some godly counsel and something to think about from the Word of God. And so, Rev. Emily, there, there are a couple of questions coming through. And so, let's look mm -hmm. at this one here. Okay. Saying, Hello, PFM. My question uh, is uh, about uh, just giving us now the, the scenario there. I am in distress right now. Things are tough financially, mm -hmm. job wise, and etc. And uh, saying, last night I had this dream twice mm -hmm. uh, that I was seated under a mango tree and had this great harvest of mango fruits mm -hmm. all around me. I was seemingly happy in that dream. And saying, what could this mean? Wow. Yes. 
Well, let's let's take it. I want to agree with you that that sounds a very happy dream, an abundance, you know, a fruitfulness. Um, so I, I pray you came out of that dream or that time of sleep encouraged or looking up and saying, you know, uh, my circumstances don't dictate the way it's going to be. Um, distress is a combination of what our circumstances are and how I see them, you see, because how I see them then, you know, dictates uh, whether I'll call it half full or half empty. You know, is it a, a difficult situation or an opportunity? Um, so just wanting to encourage you that with the dream you've had, you know, and the really in line with the promise of God, because God promises that even in difficult times, he is with us, that there is nothing that comes at us that is not common to man. And God is faithful. He'll give us a make a way of escape, you know, as we stand up under it. So we don't, it, he doesn't take it away, but he enables us to stand up in it and believe you know there's no greater um blessing than when we believe god so much that we are even willing to thank him for a situation that has not changed um and god wants us to trust him that he knows exactly where you are he's not sort of finding oh oh john is here how did he get here no god already knew you would be in that situation so we can look confidently to him and ask him based on his promise lord i need help i need uh, a way out of this situation i need wisdom for this situation i can ask him and not only ask him, but as I ask, knowing that I'm asking in his will, my heart uh, bears testimony that, yes, he has heard me and I have what I have asked for. So that from that place, I'm already hopeful. You know, um, uh, uh, Jackson, when we come at life distressed, we will not even see the opportunities that present themselves. We will not even be... Um, you know, have the energy or the wherewithal or the, the the oomph to approach life or to reach out and try something. Uh, we are we are we are facing life from like an undertaker. You know, like from underneath. And God wants us to live at a place where, because we know He is with us, because we know He has a good plan for our lives, for good and not for evil, to give us a future and a hope. Because he has provided out of his glorious riches in Christ Jesus, which may not be that that uh, uh, money in your pocket, but it is the peace of God, it is the joy of the Lord that enables me to look up and look around and go forward with every confidence that the door is opening for me and the opportunities are there for me to receive. You know, because God will not leave me in a latch. He's not trying to test me to see, you know, um, you know, let me abandon her for some time. No, God is with you. However difficult a situation tarries, know that we have every reason to say thank you. Thank you because we are told in First Thessalonians chapter 518 to say thanks in every situation because this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning us. So being able, being persuaded in your heart that this is not the worst. And I believe those dreams, uh, you know, just give you the encouragement that the best is yet to come. If you are a child of God, the promise is the best is yet to come. Yes. Best is yet to come. Yes. Looking at more of the questions coming through here, this is from a listener who is asking, uh, listening from Nakuru, I have a question about what the Bible says about predestination and how does this reconcile with free will? Predestination and how it reconciles with free will. Okay. Well, I think let us quickly go to Romans mm -hmm. um, uh, ch chapter 8 because I think I believe that will give us um, something to chew on. Um, Romans chapter 8. Yes, mm -hmm. Romans chapter 8. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, I believe it's the one where those he foreknew, mm -hmm. he, he predestined. Mm -hmm. um, let us locate it. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. um, Okay, I consider 
uh, our present suffering. No, that's not the path we want mm -hmm. to go. Mm -hmm. We want to go to where, but but we hear the the mm. the, the, the the one who has asked the question. Mm. It's not just in the Romans eight portion, mm. um, and it, I'm looking at twenty eight. And we know that in all things God works for good to those who love him and who are called according to his purpose. Mm. For those God foreknew, mm -hmm. he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son, yes. that he might be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. And those he predestined, he also called. Those he called, he also justified. And those he justified, he also glorified. So, I, I guess that the 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 the, the, ask, the one who asks is wondering, in referring to those, uh, are there those who are not then predestined? You see, the the Bible is very clear about he died for all people, all men. It is not God's pleasure to see anyone uh, perish in their sin. So this is a God who loved us, and who sent His Son to die on the cross for us, so that anyone everyone all who would believe in him will not perish but have everlasting life god did not sort of say you will never uh, know me uh, and the other ones you will know me i believe the promise came to everyone and he has revealed himself through creation and through uh, many ways of his goodness and who he is what is the difference is that god then knows who will choose him God knows the end from the beginning. He knows that these ones will be uh, will come into uh, faith in Jesus Christ, and so it would appear to the one who already knows the end from the beginning that these ones are the chosen ones. You know, but in truth, we are all chosen in Christ Jesus. I believe Ephesians is very clear about that, that he chose us in Christ Jesus to be conformed to the image of his son. You know, so everyone is invited in. It's a door that is open for all mankind. And he paid the price for all sin, for all men, for all time. And then now you and I, by our free will, get to choose, will I receive this gift of forgiveness and become a part of the kingdom of God, become uh, a child of God, become a member of the body of Christ? You and I now have that, that possibility. But God on his part, because that would not reconcile with his, his, um, his, his mercy and his grace and his love, if he died for some people, because that's what it would appear the suggestion is that he died for these ones, so these ones will come in. God died for everyone. Jesus Christ died on the cross for everyone. And the free will then is what he has given us as a gift to respond willingly from where we are, having seen his infinite mercy and infinite love to this invitation to become a child of God. Yes. What we were hearing at the top of the hour, the yes. question is, did God choose us first or did we choose him first? Mm -hmm. That's exactly <laughs> it. Yes. <laughs> That's it. All right. Yes. So, so let's look at uh, more of the questions here. And this one is coming through from uh, a sister who says, I'm a born again Christian lady. I have never been married. I have never dated a man and I have no man friend. And my age is 46. I miss, uh, okay, I desire, let me put it that way. I desire to get married. I have been praying. Please guide me on what to do. Please pray with me as well. Sure. Mm -hmm. Listener, I want to encourage you. Um, the Bible says that when we pray in his will, First John chapter 5, mm -hmm. he hears us. And then we have the assurance that we have those things that we have believed him for, that we've prayed for prayed him for. Uh, de delay is not denial, you know. Um, be encouraged today uh, that God has heard your prayer. He knows your desire. As you continue to delight in him, uh, I believe it's uh, Psalm 37 that says this, delight yourself in the Lord and he will do this. He will, he will provide. He will, he will defend your cause, you know, and he will draw that one that he has chosen for you at the right time. Um, don't look at the chronological time. I think when we look at, ah, uh, 40 has come, oh, you know, 
I have some friends who married in their 40s and, you know, what a delight it was to have waited patiently for the Lord and uh, seen him come through and uh, satisfy them with good things because you serve and we serve a loving father who delights to give us good gifts. And one of those good gifts is is a good marriage. Um, so believe God for this uh, that you have desired and our desires are not isolated of his working in us. So continue to look forward to that time. Begin to thank him for that appointed time and keep busy in the vineyard as you do his work. He will um, definitely um, um, bring that one uh, to pass. Yes. Keep serving. Keep serving. And another one here saying, uh, praise Jesus. Uh, my wife has been finding it difficult to pray. Nowadays, I'm asking her if we can pray, and she is so uninterested or disinterested. I have asked her why she's, uh, she's like that, and she told me we've been... Uh, we've been through a lot and uh, we've been praying and nothing seems to be happening. So what should I do? Men ought always to pray and not to give up. Dear one, I seem to sense that your wife may have uh, prayed, waited for long. Nothing is happening. Um, you are still praying. It seems you're still hopeful. Uh, encourage her encourage her to keep looking up you know um god god has everything in his hands uh he has the time he knows you know what the breakthroughs he's he's waiting to bring our way and let's not forget that between when we pray and when the answer comes god is at work god is doing a lot of things in us to prepare us for the thing that he is he is getting ready to show us i think one of my favorite scriptures jackton is is the first corinthians chapter chapter 2 verse 9 i believe to 13 it says no eye has seen no ear has heard it has not even entered the heart of man what god has prepared for those who love him and god is revealing it by his spirit the spirit searches all things even the deep things of god and you know, uh, dear one, when we separate ourselves from prayer, then it means we can't hear regularly from the Spirit what, how, what are these things that God has prepared for us. Sometimes we've already made up our minds how this should happen or what should happen. But believe me, God has an even better plan than we have. It may not be the way you, you thought it would be. It may be in a different way. But one thing I'm sure, he never gets his timing wrong. He never gets his gifts wrong. So trust in him because he's a good, good father. And be encouraged today to keep on. And uh, husband of the one who may have um, felt discouraged to keep praying. You know, there's no better time than now to pray for your wife. I, you know, there's a book I like to recommend to you know, many people I, you know, come across the power of a, a praying husband, the power of a praying wife. Those are key books that have such rich scripture and such focus on um, praying for our partners to be encouraged in the way of waiting upon the Lord and trusting him every day for the things that we are looking to him for. Uh, don't be discouraged. Don't sort of, when she doesn't want to pray, um, invite her just to read the word with you. Invite her to ask God to keep her desiring to pray. And for you, keep praying for her. Because prayer changes things, changes hearts. It ignites fire even to do the things that God wants us to do. Yes. Wow. Uh, I like those recommendations of books. I should get them as well. Yes. Yeah, really, really essential, especially in, in the place of prayer. Yes. Very important for us to, 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 to emphasize on that. Yes. All right. And they are by Stormy Omashan. Ah, all right. So just in case. All right. I'm looking for it. All right. And we continue with more of the live questions in a little while. I remind you can uh, get in touch with us by sending your question to 20933 WhatsApp on 
Did you know the Friends of Hope is an initiative of Hope Media? Through this initiative, we are able to partner with others who are keen to ensure that we keep hope alive. Through your support, we are sharing the hope we have with many others who are yet to embrace hope. You too can become a part of this initiative today. Send your contribution of any amount to M-Pesa pay bill number 933-933. Account name Friends of Hope. For more information regarding Friends of Hope, please email friendsofhope at hopefm.org or SMS FOH to 20933. Join Friends of Hope today. Friends of Hope, keeping hope alive. Another quality service from Christ is the answer. Did you know the Friends of Hope is an initiative of Hope Media? Through this initiative, we are able... I've actually been trying to find a balance. Um, It's been really tough and hectic, but everyone says once you get a hang of it, it becomes better. And I don't know, but I'm hoping to find a balance soon because it's really been hectic. But you've been in the job industry for a long time, so I think you would know better. Sindio? Huh? What time is it? Ah, I need to catch up on leadership forum. Did they have a radio here? Uh, ah, never mind. I broke my own. <gasps> no way. You can't be serious. Wait, why do you have a radio and you can just catch up with the shows on Hope FM podcast? Really? Even Miss of the What? Yeah. I mean, you can find them on whatever platform, name it, Afripods, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, um, Spotify, you name it. But I'm not subscribed on any of them. Oh, no worries. You can just check out the latest episodes on hopemediakenya.org. You can now listen to select Hope FM programs on your favorite podcast streaming platform or directly on our website, www.hopemediakenya.org. Listen. And live. I've actually been trying to find a balance. Um, it's been real. You, the listener, are the reason why we go on air. You, the friend of hope, are the reason why hope is alive. You have helped us take hope across the country and to the rest of the world. Through your giving, we have been on air for 18 years and witnessed many people coming to the Lord. Through your giving, we have expanded our reach to three new regions, namely Kisi, Nyeri, and Meru. Through your giving, we have expanded our reach to an international audience through DSTV and GoTV platforms. Thank you for your sacrifice and generosity toward this great initiative. As we continue spreading hope to the other enriched regions in Kenya, you are invited to be part of the Friends of Hope through a contribution of any amount via M-Pesa Pay Bill 933-933, account name FOH. Friends of Hope, keeping hope alive. God bless you. You, the listener, are the reason why we go on air. You, the friend of hope, are the reason why hope is alive. You have helped us take hope across the country and to the rest of the world. Through your giving, we have been on air for 18 years and witnessed many people coming to the Lord. Through your giving, we have expanded our reach to three new regions, namely Kisi, Nyeri, and Meru. Through your giving, we have expanded our reach to an international audience through DSTV and GoTV platforms. Thank you for your sacrifice and generosity toward this great initiative. As we continue spreading hope to the other enriched regions in Kenya, you are invited to be part of the Friends of Hope through a contribution of any amount via M-Pesa Pay Bill 933-933, account name FOH. Friends of Hope, keeping hope alive. God bless you. You the listener. Did you know the Friends of Hope is an initiative of Hope Media? Through this initiative, we are able to partner with others who are keen to ensure that we keep hope alive. Through your support, we are sharing the hope we have with many others who are yet to embrace hope. You too can become a part of this initiative today. Send your contribution of any amount to M-Pesa pay bill number 933-933. Account name Friends of Hope. For more information regarding Friends of Hope, please email friendsofhope at hopefm.org or SMS FOH to 20933. Join Friends of Hope today. Friends of Hope, keeping hope alive. 
Another quality service from Christ is the answer. Make up your mind. It is Jesus, it is Jesus, and it's all about him, right? From uh, Afrizo, and the song is titled, uh, I Have Decided, at 23 minutes to 9 o'clock here on Breath of Heaven. And if you actually need to make that decision tonight, we are here to mm. pray with you, mm. to introduce you to this special friend, Jesus, who laid down his life for you and for me and for us here that we may have life and have it in abundance just text us tell us that you want to give your life to jesus and we will lead you in a prayer as you make that commitment so we continue with the uh, live questions and uh, as we look at them on uh, 20933 whatsapp 0717 Let's look at a question here from a listener who seeks to find out more about uh, matters to do with the uh, tithe or something. Yes, let me get it. Yeah, I've got it. This one is a student and uh, the student says, my dad sends money for upkeep. Mm -hmm. He gives a tithe of everything he earns and has set a good example to us as his kids. Mm -hmm. My question is, should I tithe the money he sends to me again? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> the money for upkeep. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Well, you, you have already given us the background that he already tithed and then he's giving you money. You know, um, if you sense you want to give, honestly, all we have and all we will ever have comes from the Lord. Uh, you're not uh, you're not limited in in what you do. What a joyous thing! You tithe that money. Uh, what you're feeling, go ahead and do it. It's the Lord prompting you. And you know, dear one, when you um, make uh, people who start when they get pocket money, end up actually being lavishly generous towards the Lord, even when they get you know billions of money, they don't have a problem with uh, with tithing because you know th th they're generous towards the Lord. You know, so I would encourage you to do what your heart uh, is suggesting to you to do. Um, it will be a, a joy to the Lord. You know, it's just to say I'm not attached. Uh, tithing also helps us just in in terms of I'm not a, super attached to this that I have received. Mm -hmm. And uh, it deals with, uh, you know, our, our flesh as well when we relinquish or give uh, a thanks offering to the Lord, even in a tithe from, you know, what we receive from our parents. So I would encourage you, go ahead and do it. Mm -hmm. Yes. And it starts from there. You, you've said it, it becomes a discipline in us and in us now that even when we get those billions, it will not be difficult for it, us. It won't. We flow with it. We know that all of it belongs to the Lord. Wow. Yes. All right. All right. Yes. Thank you. Let's look at another one here now. This is from uh, a, a, a listener who is asking, oh, yes, saying, uh, uh, I am brilliant. My question is, is it good for a Christian to meet a partner in social media, specifically Facebook? Well, there's nothing that says it is sin to meet in on social media. People have met in the most uh, amazing ways, in the strangest ways. Um, and, and the thing is to ask yourself, you know, once you meet, because that's not where it ends, of course, you have to come to know this person, you'll meet them and you want to ask the right questions. You want to ask, is this person first and foremost, a child of God, like you are, you want to find out whether their values are the ones you have, you know, uh, if they're, 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 they're taken from the Bible because, you know, um, People call themselves Christians, but they may be that by name only. You want to make sure one is living a spirit-filled life that is honoring to God, that is pleasing to God, that is obedient to God, that is seeking to do what is right. Um, so once you have that right, as you continue to get to know them, um, it is fine. There's no condemnation for you who has met on Facebook or any other uh, forum for that, uh, for, for that matter. Yes. You want to pray that it's not, let me not say any forum, because there are those that are not 
uh, forums where you will meet people who are going in a direction that is honoring to God. As so long as it's something neutral, Facebook is neutral. I mean, um, anything can, you, you could meet someone who is going in the right direction there. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. All right. Uh, another question here. This is from uh, a listener who is asking, I'm really, first of all, saying I'm really enjoying the show. Uh, thank you for listening in. And so mm -hmm. uh, the question is, I am in a long distance relationship long distance relationship mm -hmm. my boyfriend is abroad yes uh, yeah right there and he's always pushing me to have filthy talks and uh, show him mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. you know yeah through whatsapp and uh, you know those nudes through whatsapp uh, though we've never been intimate because i do not want anything to do with fornication i believe in doing everything after marriage how do I tell him that I hate those filthy talks that uh, uh, the Lord discourages as well? We are, we are both born again. Uh, dear one, it's been said when someone shows you who they are, believe them. Because out of the abundance of the, of the heart, the mouth speaks. Um, you know, if he is uh, directing you to all kinds of um, wicked things, you know, whatever they are, uh, you need to be bold about saying you will not be a part of them. Because you see, if you keep quiet, they then become, you become a party to them. So you need to be bold in saying, no, I will not participate in that kind of talk. That is not the kind of person I am, and I will not entertain that kind of thing. And, and, and be warned, dear one, that, uh, if here, if you have seen this aspect, then I, I would wonder about his character you know I would wonder about his character so you need to be very careful but draw the line for yourself don't allow him to speak those things to you and um, immediately you have more right to say no and to tell him exactly what you're feeling than he has to speak them mm -hmm. so be very bold about sharing what you, what you, what you feel. Mm -hmm. We are told to be holy. We are told to be pure. And I'm glad that is what you are ho upholding. But unfortunately, you're going to need to speak that to your boyfriend. And, uh, that, that is, that is a, a, a deal breaker. Uh, in my opinion, if someone is sharing or encouraging you in a way that dishonors and displeases God, mm -hmm. it is immediate reason for seizing seizing that relationship mm -hmm. i don't sense it is going anywhere mm -hmm. that is uh, uh, beneficial to you mm -hmm. or even to your life in christ mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. thank you thank you for clarifying that for that sister and anybody probably who are in that space yeah yeah he who has an ear get to hear what the spirit is speaking yes. to the churches mm -hmm. let's look at another one <laughs> here this one is from uh, a listener is saying um, first of all, giving a sentence, uh, a statement, God originated marriage. And then goes on to say, reports have shown where a wife, um, mm -hmm, uh, I think he, he earns or something, he earns more than a husband, chances, chances of that marriage to last is not easy. Let me take that again. Yes. Reports have shown that where a wife earns more than a husband, chances of that marriage uh, lasting is not easy. Is it true today? Then goes on to say, I witnessed this happen to a neighbor in Buruburu where the wife was earning more than the man. The couple were Christians. Mother-in-law visited for a week. Later, her and her daughter and granddaughters packed uh, in the husband's presence, I think packed and leave and left uh, in the husband's pre presence. How can uh, a Christian navigate this? I uh, hope you have captured that. Yes, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. um, clearly an issue of identity. Mm -hmm. um, and yes, I want to agree with your first sentence um, statement there. Uh, Ephesians chapter 3 verse 14 tells us, For this very reason I kneel before the Father, mm -hmm from whom every family in heaven and on earth derives its name. Um, 
what is your identity when you get into that marriage are you defined by how much you bring home where you work uh you're a, a man you're a woman you uh, you have children you don't have children are you defined by these things i want to tell us let us go back to who you are in christ you are a sinner saved by grace and you are here to advance the kingdom of god in marriage it is the privilege of you have received your wife your husband as a gift from god and therefore you want to thank god for this one who you have received it's an attitude of gratitude that you need to have toward your husband or wife whether they are earning or not earning uh, the, the matter of earning is very secondary is is just nowhere in the area of identity when we see ourselves as god uh, sees us and we see our partners as god made them to be uh, to be treasured to be um, uh, to thank god for then we are able to treat them right whether they are going through a difficult time in terms of vocation or whether they are sick or whether they are you know going through uh, whatever kind of season they are going through because remember you know today's uh, abounding does not mean tomorrow will be the same you know i have seen situations where initially it may be the husband has a very very lavish job or a lot of income and as time goes on the 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 situation reverses if it is a question of because she's earning or he's earning more or less you know i'll regard them this way or that respect them more or disrespect them because uh it will be very unfortunate so here is the counsel um those who get married should look at their partners strictly as a, the husband should look at the wife as a helpmate from God, a partner in life to, to fulfill the purpose for which God put them together uh, to accomplish on this earth. Let us remember that this life is very short. We are here for a moment and going on to eternity for eternity. So we want to live life every moment of it, and especially in the marriage institution, um, in a way that will glorify God, that will please God. Remember also that in that marriage, uh, children will be born who will learn from you in regard to how you, you, you treat one another, uh, how Jesus, how God relates to us as the body of Christ, because this is the institution that he talks about uh, looking at to, to equate it with, you know, his own relationship with the church. So husbands should honor their, uh, should uh, love their wives and wives are to honor their husbands. And this, this, there should be a submission one to the other so that there is a glorification of God in this institution of marriage. Um, Dear one, it is not supposed to be that money should dictate how you regard your partner. Mm -hmm. So um, there are many who uh, are in the situation you've talked about and who are uh, respecting their husbands um, and husbands who are respecting their wives. And in fact, some have said, you know, my dear one, you will not work. Let me let me you know earn for this uh, home and you bring up the children because we recognize how important bringing up children is so uh, i hope in that which we have discussed you've gathered that it's not about the money issue it is the identity our identity in christ and once we have that right we'll be able to relate right yes thank you thank you for that rev Another one here from a brother who says, um, Hi, please help me understand how far does the involvement of the man of God uh, go in one's family? My partner involves him in basically everything she or we do to the extent of being told when to or not to get intimate matters to do with finances choice of friends or family members to associate with every d uh, everything done in our home he has a hand and a say in it and uh, goes on to say i am just a spectator in this marriage oh that's a very unfortunate situation mm. there because it is for freedom that we have been set free um we are not supposed to be subject to 
uh, to earthly authorities, to the place where we cannot live a free life, and especially in the institution of marriage. The two have become one, and they are accountable to one another, and they get to decide you know, what they will do with their lives on a daily basis. The man of God is, um, is, 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 is a is a cover can can give counsel when they come when they choose to come to him to seek counsel but he should not be involved to the place where he's dictating what they should do on a daily basis and even on a uh, weekly or monthly or yearly basis they they have the freedom to decide how it should be so i think you you do need to confront that situation we are never more like christ than when we speak the truth in love um it is important that you confront Front, uh, that situation uh, first initially with your wife uh, do share what what you sense what you know and your desire for you to do life as a couple as one and then relate to the uh, man of God as one the two of you together uh, and not th the way which uh, it seems to be coming out um, it is important also that the two of you once you've agreed then um, uh, meet with the the pastor um it may be that uh, you know uh, you may eventually need to to have a different uh, pastoral covering um but at this point uh, it would be good to confront it even with the pastor mm -hmm. and get clarity that uh this is this is a boundary around our 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 marriage and uh, we are the ones who are driving the ship mm -hmm. with Christ's help mm -hmm. yes Christ being the captain. Absolutely. All right. Wow. Let, let's look at another one here from a lady who says, my, uh, I am a mother of three. Feeding my children and uh, educating them is one thing. I always pray for that uh, it has become so hard even taking them to school. They have been out of school due to fees. I really uh, uh, look for any kind of a job to be able to take care of my children or take uh, my children to school and feed them. And uh, so probably would like us to pray for her and also mm -hmm. encourage her on uh, what steps probably she would take in that, in that scenario she's in. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, diff difficult situation there. But um, know that uh, even in coming into that situation or the way it is now, uh, with three children, they belong to God first and foremost. Um, so thank God for them every day and trust God to be able to provide for them, their upkeep as well as their education. You have especially spoken about education. So I could, uh, I, I could definitely suggest that uh, many people in a situation like that have uh, resorted to homeschooling. If, if you're able to homeschool, I know that uh, many people in a season of financial difficulty have uh, been able to, to provide their children with, uh, you know, schooling, uh, at home that's that's reasonable and there are institutions that will help you and support you uh, in doing this so that you're able to at least um, uh, settle uh, to a point uh, some people actually opt for homeschool actually throughout the the, the, the children's school life mm -hmm. so that's not uh, something that uh, it becomes just a stopgap measure it could actually even be the way that you decide to go eventually but we will pray because God hears our prayers mm -hmm. yes definitely Thank you so much for that, Reverend. So time allows us to look at those questions tonight. And so giving you an opportunity probably for a word of encouragement as we conclude, and then uh, you will go ahead and pray with us. Yes. Mm -hmm. Dear one, I, I really want to encourage you that we have a promise keeping God. We have a God who never fails. He has a record of never failing. So he's one we can depend on. He's one we can look to in our times of of, of, of concern, our times of, of lack, our times of doubt, our times of not knowing. You know, you've made that prayer often and it has not come through. Don't give up on God. Believe him for what he has said. You know, it said that we have over 8,000 promises in the word of God. And they are not for some Christians. They are for 
every one of us who believes in God and they are fully backed by the yes and amen that is in Jesus Christ. So believe God for what you are, what you need today and settle it there that he has heard you and that indeed he will come through for you. If it doesn't come through immediately, God gives grace. His word says, I love a word that says he is able to make all grace abound toward you so that you always having all sufficiency in all things have an abundance, not just a little, an abundance for every good work. And so as we go through the, the seasons of our lives and all of us will go through tough seasons sometimes, let us know that God is in control and his promise is with us to fulfill that which he has uh, he has called us to believe for uh, and he himself is our present help in time of need so uh, do not fear do not look at life and and faint but be encouraged today to keep looking to this one who went all the way didn't he say in his word he who he who did not spare his own son but gave him up for us all what will we he not give us you see, because he gave us the ultimate. So our trust and our hope and our knowledge, confidence, is that he would not withdraw anything from us. So be very encouraged. Amen. You can pray with us as we All conclude. Right. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. Loving Heavenly Father, tonight we are so grateful that we don't have to do life alone that you are in us and indeed oh god you have spoken in your word concerning the fact that we are never alone father for the many who have asked questions and many more who may not even have gotten to ask their question on radio father god we pray that you may be that answer to everyone who is looking to you for help those who are in a place of stretched because they don't have enough this mother who has three children and is wondering where school fees will come from where from where she will feed her children from where she will get a job from lord you are her provider she is not looking to a job but you are the provider you are jehovah jireh who is the provider for the one who needs father god you are the one who gives wisdom to us who are looking for direction where we do not know which way to go father god would you be that whisper to our spirits would you cause us to look at the circumstances you cause to happen would you give us that peace concerning the situation that you want us to agree with so that we walk in harmony with your spirit to do that which you want us to do father god we pray for others who are entrapped in a situation where they are tolerating evil i pray for the boldness that comes uh, from you oh god that causes and, and and gives us the courage to say no to that uh, uh, wrong wrongdoing and to that voice that speaks in a different direction to you I pray that we will have the boldness to stand up for Jesus and say we will go in the direction that he calls us to do, to go, even if it means losing one that we cared for. Father God, we are praying for these ones who need wisdom for how to navigate in a marriage situation. Indeed, being able to put the boundaries that are needed, oh God, even to do life as one. Because you said a man shall leave his mother and father and be united to his wife and the two shall be one. That there will not be a question of another coming in to give direction to that marriage. Father, we are praying for, for, for everyone one who requires to hear your voice oh god of comfort of encouragement of direction of hope of, of of encouragement lord jesus that you will be that one who speaks to one and all of us thank you lord we we thank you because indeed our lives are in your hands you have said oh god that we are we are hidden in christ in god and we are fully protected from the evil one we pray that we will walk in step with you knowing what you say for us to do and indeed walking in obedience so that we may enjoy that liberty that you have called us all into help us to live free lives help us to live fruitful lives help us to live in such a way as to fulfill the purpose your purpose 
in our lives, all the days of our lives. We want to pray your spirit would fill us so that we are able to be illuminated every step of the way, walking in the power of your Holy Spirit. We thank you. We bless you for this time that we've had together. And even as we go into the night, we are confident that you are with us. We are never alone. We thank you and we bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Rev. Emily, for sharing with us a wonderful time in the presence of God and even uh, godly counsel that Amen. we have uh, uh, been able to receive tonight. We pray that God will also uh, refresh you Amen. and uh, in every way, you know, comfort you. You shared with us uh, earlier on what had happened yes. and uh, we continue to pray with your family and uh, may God uh, in every way come through for you. Amen. Amen. Thank David. you, Jackton. You're welcome. Amen. All right. That's just about it in uh, this hour where we had the live question segment with Reverend Dr. Emily Obwaka from uh, Sita Moodley. Yes, and uh, in the